The way that you would normally think of to construct an ellipse within a square would be to find the perspectival center of the square um, and construct your ellipse based on that touching all those points. But this isn't correct. It creates a very strange looking ellipse, even though it is kind of reconciled logically to the square. Instead, you find the actual mathematical center uh, of, the, of the square and estimate an ellipse that goes within that. An ellipse is symmetrical in all four quadrants around its horizontal and vertical axes, and it shouldn't have any kind of um, flat sides to it. You should be able to create a perfect tangent at any point along the contour of the ellipse. So some common mistakes with the ellipse are to make it a little bit too cigar shaped and too flat. Another one is to create points on the ellipse. An ellipse is a circle in perspective, so it can't have any points. Um, and we call these the cigar and the almond. Um, another common error that's uh, a little harder to identify is an ellipse with two horizontal axes. You'll notice that the widest tangent points don't meet up along an axis. The fourth most common mistake is to create an asymmetrical ellipse on that uh, vertical axis. Now to practice ellipses, you're not going to pay as careful uh, attention to the construction. Instead what you're going to do is draw two parallel lines down, down your page and start with the circle and create ellipses very loosely that get flatter and flatter and flatter and then expand out to a circle again. And you're going to do this over and over and over. And the trick to this is to not go back and correct yourself. What you want to do is get comfortable with the motion that it takes to create an ellipse. When you're actually drawing a structure or a still life, yeah, you do want to pay attention to the construction of ellipse, but just for practice, stay loose.